Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have some slightly more difficult examples, a little bit more challenging. In order to determine if these expressions are correct, we have to do a little bit of mathematics. We have to work them out. What we're trying to determine in this case, for example, is the left side less than 10. Well, let's go ahead and try it and see what we get. 3 times 4, we need to do the multiplication first because that's the order of operation principle, multiplication before addition. 3 times 4, that's 12, plus 7, is that less than 10, question mark. Well, let's add them together, 12 plus 7 is 19, is that less than 10? And the answer is, no it's not, 19 is larger or greater than 10, therefore this is a false statement. Let's go over here and try this one. 8 times 2 minus 5, is that greater than 12? Well, first we do the multiplication, 8 times 2, that is 16, minus 5, is that greater than 12, question mark? Well, 16 minus 5, that's equal to 11, is 11 greater than 12? And the answer is no, 11 is less than 12, so this is a false statement. Coming over here, we have 9 times 3 minus 11, is that less than or equal to 16? It only needs to satisfy one of those two conditions. Let's multiply this out, 9 times 3, that is 27, minus 11, less than or equal to 16, question mark. Well, let's subtract 11 from 27, that is 16. Is 16 less than or equal to 16, question mark? Well, let's see here. We know that 16 is not less than 16, but we know that 16 is equal to 16. So it satisfies the second condition, equal to, therefore, this is a true statement. Coming over here, 6 times 5 minus 12, is that less than or equal to 18? 6 times 5, that is 30 minus 12, is that less than or equal to 18, question mark? Well, let's work this out. 30 minus 12 is 18. 18, is that less than or equal to 18, question mark? Well, we know that 18 is not less than 18, but we do know that 18 is equal to 18. If one of the two conditions is true, then that expression is a true statement, so we can say true. Coming back over here, 3 times 8 minus 4 times 6, is that less than or equal to 0? Well, let's find out. We have to do the order of operations, multiplication before subtraction, 3 times 8, 24 minus 4 times 6, 24. Is that less than or equal to 0? Question mark. Well, 24 minus 24 is 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 0? Well, we know it's not less than 0, but we know it's equal to 0. Since one of the two conditions is satisfied, this must be a true statement. Over here, 2 times 20 minus 8 times 5, is that greater than or equal to 0? Well, we know that 2 times 20 is 40, minus 8 times 5, which is 40, is that greater than or equal to 0? Question mark. Well, when we work this out, 40 minus 40 is 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 0? Well, we know it's not greater than 0, but we do know that 0 equals 0. It meets one of the two conditions, therefore, this is a true statement. And that's how we utilize those statements, or those expressions, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. And that's how we do that.